Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Parker. In today's episode, we're going to use a three-act task called Sliced Up by Graham Fletcher. During today's three-act task, Sliced Up, you'll be working with counting orange wedges to see how many fourths of an orange there are. Here are some materials you will need for today. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil. Also, as you're working today, you will have an opportunity to practice your communicator skills by sharing your ideas through writing and working to make connections with what you read and hear throughout the lesson. To get our brains thinking about math, we're going to do a warm-up activity called Which One Doesn't Belong? Look at the four pictures. Three of the pictures go together in one way, while the fourth doesn't belong. There isn't a wrong answer, as long as you can explain why. Are you ready? Which picture doesn't belong and why? Write down your thoughts on your piece of paper. Number two doesn't belong because it's the only square with a nickel, where the other boxes use pennies. Number three doesn't belong because the value of the coin is one cent, while the other boxes has a value of five cents. Number four doesn't belong because the coins are showing tails, while the other three are showing heads. On your paper, put a check mark next to the ones that we both thought of. Put a star next to the ones that you thought of, but I didn't. Can you think of any more? In a moment, you're going to watch a video. As you watch, what do you notice and what do you wonder? Write down your wonderings and noticings on your piece of paper.
What are some things that you notice while watching the video? I noticed that he started with an orange slice. I noticed that at the end he had an entire bowl of orange slices. What else did you notice? What did you wonder while watching the video? I wondered how many orange slices there are in the bowl. I also wondered how many oranges there are in the bowl. What else did you wonder? Here's our question that we're going to try to solve. How many orange wedges are in the bowl? Before we solve this problem, we're going to make an estimate. And we're going to think about an estimate that's a low-end estimate as well as a high-end estimate. Think about the video and what you already know to make your estimate. When you are thinking about your estimates, remember to think about the reasonableness of your estimate. An unreasonable low estimate would be that there's only five orange wedges in the bowl. It's unreasonable because we can see at least five orange wedges already in the bowl. What is your low end estimate? Write it down on your piece of paper. To make a reasonable high end estimate, think about what you already know as well as the orange wedges in the bowl. An unreasonable high-end estimate would be that there are 50 orange slices in the bowl. What is your high-end estimate? Write it down on your piece of paper. Now write down your estimate of how many orange wedges you think are in the bowl. Think back to our question. In order for you to solve this problem, you need to know some information. What do you need to know in order to answer this question of how many orange wedges are in the bowl? Write down some things that you need to know. One thing we need to know is the size of each orange wedge. Each orange wedge is one fourth of a whole orange. If an orange is cut into fourths, how many pieces will you have in a whole orange? Each orange will have four fourths or be cut into four equal pieces. Another piece of information we need to know is how many whole oranges were used to make the orange wedges. Watch the video to figure out how many whole oranges were used. There were five whole oranges cut into fourths to make the orange wedges. We know that there were five whole oranges used to make the orange slices. We also know that each orange was cut into fourths and that each wedge is one fourth of an orange. Use your piece of paper to figure out how many orange wedges or how many fourths there were to make the orange wedges.
let's look at some strategies that you could use. You could use a picture to help you. Based on what we know, how many whole oranges do we have? Five whole oranges were used to cut the orange wedges. How many pieces is each orange cut into? Or what size fraction is a whole orange cut into? Each whole orange is cut into fourths. So there are four pieces or four fourths in each orange. How many fourths are in the bowl? Or how many orange slices are in the bowl? Look at the picture. How many fourths would that be? Let's count out our fourths. Look to see how many fourths there would be. There are 20 orange wedges, or 20 fourths of oranges, in a bowl. Before we go, let's reflect. If you had to solve this problem again, what would you do differently? What are you still wondering after solving this problem? Write down one reflection on your paper. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned about different strategies that we can use to count fractions. This is Mrs. Parker, and I hope you have a wonderful day.